Hey guys, this week I'm going to be talking about Mammut, a piece of freeware by Oyvind Hammer that's designed to mangle audio in both weird and wonderful ways. This program is about granting the user control over the frequency domain by using fast Fourier transforms, allowing for easy nonlinear stretching and shifting of the frequency spectrum. FFT provides a unique perspective, dissecting a signal into the individual frequencies that it's composed of as an alternative to typical waveforms that only show the amplitude of a signal. Using FFT, you can see the notes of the C major, represented by 261, 329, and 391 hertz, as well as upper and lower harmonics. This view provides a good position to implement common operations such as filtering and spectrum shifts, which becomes somewhat of a visual experience with this new view. Above all, this program promotes wild experimentation. After just a little bit of messing around, I was able to turn this... ...into this. This is a program where I would strongly recommend you do your own experimentation, so I won't go into too much detail as to what processes I'm using. Guys, I'm uh, just going to give you a quick demo as to what Mammut can actually do. Uh, I've already loaded up my C major, you use it with the browse tab down bottom left. And to hear the sound, we just hit the start button. On the right side, you can see our zoom tool, which we can use to get a better look at our spectrogram. Um, you can see the individual frequencies making up the C major, as well as its upper and lower harmonics, which is useful for filtering and any sort of like cutting stuff we want to do. I'm just going to have a quick mess around, try and do this quickly. Um, I'll provide a link in the description for where you can get a detailed look at all the tools, which was provided by the developer. Um, really, I'm just doing things randomly at the moment with only a slight idea of where I'm trying to take it. One of the most useful tools is actually the undo redo button. You'll find yourself making a lot of mistakes, so being able to go back is a good thing. I find this program useful for creating unique and often interesting drones and textures. It's also my first experience with FFT, which is a refreshing way of viewing audio signals. The detail of the spectrogram, however, does not mean you should use this program as a scalpel with a predetermined plan. Instead, it's more about developing a sound without really knowing where it'll go, encouraging a direction rather than a destination. That concludes this video, and expect another one in the next three weeks.